today I would like to review those two video cards. Both of them made by Asus and both of them are silent. This one is PCI Express and it have GeForce 210 graphics on it. And this one is AGP and have Ati Radeon HD 3650 graphics on it. This one, which is AGP, have two DVI ports. One is video port, 512 megabytes of memory, which is pretty amazing for the AGP. And it have massive cooling, heat sink, and this video card, as I mentioned previously, is completely signed. This one, the same silent as well, but as you can see, the heatsink is not that much massive. It has a different form factor, which is PCI Express, and it does have one gigabyte of memory on it, powered by GeForce 210. And this one, 512 megabytes, which is power powered by Ati Radeon HD 3650. Let's install both of those video cards to the desktops and run benchmark to understand which is faster. This one have VGA, HDMI and DVI. Let's proceed. Before we actually will install them inside of the desktops, I would like just to say a few words about them. Since both of them are silent, the such type of cards are ideal for HD, HD PC entertainment. It's the ideal for home theater PCs and multimedia centers. And they have high power efficiency. Uh, they both of them have silent passive cooling uh, which creates zero db you don't hear nothing they they silent perfect for hashead gaming and multimedia emei shield efficiency blocks 66 percent radiations to protect your health and improve graphics clarity Splendid video intelligence technology optimized colors, but this is for the for this one which is powered by GeForce 210 and most of those specifications about all of those uh, Home theater and HD HTPC works on this one as well So it's time to install both of them to the two different des desktops and check how fast they are. Since both of those silent video cards made by Asus, it means that both of them have splendid video intelligence technology which optimizes colors in various entertainment scenarios with five special modes, standard game, scenery, night view and theater. Both of them Asus made and both of them are silent. Let's install this Asus. This Asus requires two of those. It's huge, massive, as you can see. AGP. The latest available. And then AGP was gone after that. It's installed. Let's plug HDMI. And this one, PCI Express, it have two of them as well, but as you can see they split it apart. And since it's a low profile, we will be unable to fit them right here. That's why we will need to remove those bolts, which are holding both of them. Actually, it's four of them. Those pieces have to be removed. This bolt as well. Just disengage all of them. Those was removed, those two slides and the bolt is right here. And right now let's install this video card into this. This is a different form factor, PCI Express. This one is AGP. Let's install it to the PCI Express 
slot right here low profile installed and let's connect it to the monitor HDMI was plugged right here but the system doesn't power on it's only beeps because this video card is so huge and massive it requires additional power that you will need to plug into this connector and then DVI you will need to use there is a yellow one and the white one you will need to use the yellow one which is right here all right guys the additional power is connected the card is fully inserted and it's VGA as you can see 512 max AGP let's power it on forgot about the power and since we was connecting this additional cord it's on place and let's power the system on all right let's power it on let's install the drivers all right this pci express is in vga is connected just like that let's power the second system on all right let's install the drivers this pci express the video driver was already installed so everything here is ready to do the benchmark and here we will need to install um, the video driver for this asus agp running pretty cold it have a massive heat sink let's install the video driver this at radeon the benchmark is already running this one is pci express and we have one gig of memory it's pretty cold right now as you can see it doesn't get that much fps but pretty good for such type of video card which is uh, PCI Express version and um, have only one gigabyte of memory which is powered by GeForce both systems are running as you can see here is a benchmark here is one of the games that I have and right now we will run the same benchmark here right there and we will compare the specs for both of them the only bad thing is that we don't have enough of RAM this system is running on 1.25 gigs of RAM and this one is running on just 1 gig of RAM of course for the best performance and benchmarking we need some additional RAM memory but it's currently unavailable unfortunately both of the systems are running Resident Evil 6 benchmark let's run it and compare the score yeah on PCI Express with one gig of RAM it's running faster which is on the left side and on the right side is AGP with 512 max powered by Atiradon and on the left side we have GeForce 210 PCI Express 1 gig let's press start let's press benchmark button on both of them Of course, both of the systems require some additional RAM, but currently, unfortunately, unavailable. As you can see, it runs pretty stable on both of them. Even 512 megabytes, which is AGP, have a higher score as you can see even though it have less memory it's on AGP but with this massive heatsink which efficiently removing all heat from the GPU itself uh, it gives us a lot higher score which is currently running at uh, 480 
And PCI Express gives us only with one gig of memory, powered by GeForce 210, gives us only 247. So I tear the on with this massive heatsink produces a lot more graphics performance. Six hundred twelve. I tear it on. And GeForce to ten with a low smaller size of the heatsink which is uh, silent, only 300, 350, 360, and this one is almost twice of the performance.